Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another video just for you. And today I am going to be unboxing and reviewing some new yarns by, yes, Lion Brand. Yes. And Lion Brand was kind enough to sponsor this video. Thank you so very much, Lion Brand, for sending me this little treasure trove of lovely yarny goodness. Thank you so very much. Much obliged. And I'm really looking forward to this because there are a couple of yarns in here that I have not tried before, and it'll give me an opportunity to try something new, to share something new with all of you, and to see what it's like. Yeah. And I believe also in here there is some stuff that I have tried before. So, you know, a little, a little balancing out. You know, we're, we're balancing things. It's good to have a balanced diet of fiber, you know? <laughs> so I already cut it open, but I didn't go into it yet uh, because I wanted to do that together. And actually, I've been hanging on to this box for a couple days now. I wanted to wait for the right moment in which to film this. So without further ado, let's go into it, shall we? Oh, whoa. All right, so digging in. Oh, my. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> I'm like a little kid on Christmas. And I got my little invoice here. And it has everything listed. Yes, I believe so. Okay, now, as far as the stuff that I have not tried um, versus the stuff that I have tried, um, let me see here. Um... Oh, okay. The other stuff is on the bottom. Okay, because I was about to say, not everything's here. No, everything's here. Good, good, good. All right, so first things first, we have, this is, of course, by Lion Brand. This is called Dotted Line. And because it's almost like, um, almost like a tie-dye, but like where it isn't dyed all the way through. And it is really pretty. Very pretty. So now dotted line. Um, this is, by the way, this is the colorway of Pink Ladies. I love the name. Um, I'm probably going to receive some comments, but I'm not a fan of the musical Grease. And the Pink Ladies were from Grease, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know. I mean, I love Little Shop of Horrors. I love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You know, there's there's a lot of, you know musicals that I like, but I'm just not a fan of Grease. But this, the colorway is Pink Ladies. Um, and uh, so to give you the, the lowdown, um, this yarn is 100% acrylic and it is machine washable and dryable. It is 4.4 ounces, yes. And it is 410 yards. The weight is a fine weight of two and anything else? Anything else that I'm missing? Mm, I don't think so. But let me, let me show you the label real quick. We get all that goodness in there. I know it's not terribly focused. Ooh. But that is Pink Ladies. And then I also got with the dotted line yarn. This is Blue Thunder. It's it sort of, it reminds me of um, denim jeans that have then been turned into yarn. And it almost feels like cotton, but apparently it's acrylic, but it has a cottony kind of feel to it. So I'm very interested in trying this out. And I do have a project in mind for this particular yarn already. Yes, I do. Um, so there's this. And so I got a bunch of these. And this, of course, also, it's the exact same specifications. Weight of two, 410 yards, 4.4 ounces, um, and acrylic. So I got a bunch of these. Very excited. And then I also got... Ooh, ooh, the, these are fun. These are going to be fun, fun, fun. Now I also got... oh. Big box. Look out. 
Okay, I also got, now you guys know that there are certain kinds of line brand uh, yarn that I really, they are my go-tos. Well, I found a variation of one of my tried and trues, and I wanted to show you that. So let, let's go in further into the box. So I was looking through their website and I saw this and I'm like, oh, I have to try this. And this is ice cream cotton blend. Now, typically I do not work with cotton very much, if, if at all, but this, it's a blend of cotton and it's the ice cream kind of funky colorways. And I thought this could be really cool. And I do have an idea for this yarn as well, actually. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited. And so this is in the colorway of lime. Now, I'm not very familiar with the idea of lime ice cream, but okay. Um, <laughs> um, now the specifications. Now it is a blend of cotton. So this is 47% cotton and 53% acrylic. Yeah. So that being said, I imagine that it's going to be a bit more pliable and not so, you know, uh, with a typical cotton. And you can see the sort of blending of the, the cotton and the acrylic twisted together. I think it looks gorgeous. And I love the colorway. Love, love, love. Now I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice smooth transition. It looks like it's going to be. And so yeah, it's 3.5 ounces, 225 yards. It's a medium weight of four. It seems like a thin weight of four. This, to me, it feels more like a three. Just saying. Um, and it is machine washable and dryable. Always a bonus. And yeah, okay. So, oh, by the way, before I forget, the recommended hook size for this yarn is a size I, which is a 5.5. The needle size is a size 8 or a 5 millimeter. Going back to the, the dotted line yarn, I didn't mention this, I'm so sorry. The dotted line yarn, the recommended hook size is a size F or a 3.75. The needle size is a size 4 or a 3.5 knitting needle. So you get an idea. I mean, that's what the label recommends. Everybody has a different gauge. I can't stress that enough, but um, this, it doesn't seem like a typical way to four. It seems a little bit thin, sort of like their pound of love. It seems like a thin four, like a, a 3.5, not quite a three, not quite a four, but mm, somewhere in the middle uh, as far as the weight is concerned. But I love ice cream um, ice cream yarn, I really, really love. And so I thought, let's give it a whirl, literally. Um, and then I also got this colorway, which I'm really excited about. This is gorgeous. This one is chocolate. So I've got lime and I've got chocolate. This is so pretty. It reminds me of like sandalwood for whatever reason, but it makes me think of sort of like a sandalwood kind of color. You know, it's so pretty. Or driftwood, even. It's very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. And so I got a bunch of these, and then I have one more that I wanted to show you as well. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, let's see, what's these? There we go. Okay, so last but certainly not least, um, because I decided that I wanted to go with a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. Well, here's a little bit of something familiar, but a little bit different. This is also ice cream in the big scoops, but they came out with some new colorways. And I, I was like, oh, I can't resist. I, I, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. We've got several shades of blue and some white and some cream going on in there. Now, the weirdest thing, though, when I saw the name of this, 
I was thinking maybe, you know, blueberry tart or um, blueberry parfait or some, something with blueberries in it. Actually, I don't know if you can read that. Butter pecan. Butter pecan? Really? <laughs> I don't see butter pecan. That that's just me. I don't I don't quite see butter pecan. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of other colors in here, but I mean, it, it's got a sort of like the the buttery uh, creaminess in there. But the blue, I'm a little confused about that. But they, I always get really excited whenever they come out with a a new bunch of colorways, and there are a couple. I believe another one is Cherry's Jubilee, which it looked gorgeous. Um, I think Unicorn was another one, and Superman, sort of like a, a red, white, and blue thing going on. And I love the ice cream Big Scoops because you get a good amount of yardage. It's nice. It's soft. It's acrylic. I, I have used this so many times in projects, so I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed with the Big Scoops. Now, for those of you that don't know, it is a weight of three. I would say, yes, this is a, a true weight of three as far as the weight of the yarn. It is 10 ounces. It is 1,117 yards of yarny goodness. I love these. I, I even wish they were bigger. I love them. Um, and it is 100% acrylic. The recommended needle size is a size five or a 3.75 millimeter needle for knitting. For crocheting, recommended hook size is a size H or a five millimeter hook. And yeah, so that being said, and yeah, it's 100% acrylic, so it is machine washable and dryable, which is lovely. And I cannot wait to work with this, indeed. Um, I'm just questioning blue in butter pecan. That's the only, that's the only thing where I'm just sort of like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's me. Now, where you're from, you know, do they usually have something blue in butter pecan ice cream? I don't know. Let me, let me know. Um, stranger things have happened, and I guess around here they usually do. Eh, whatever. But I am really excited. And to flesh out this unboxing, we're also going to do sort of like a little stitch test as well. Now with the ice cream yarn, I have done so many tutorials using this yarn, so I'm not going to do that, I don't think, but I mean, it works up really, really, really nicely. Maybe I will, um, but um, I definitely am going to do little swatches of the ice cream cotton blend and the dotted line to show you what it's like working with it with the recommended hook size. I'm going to follow the rules. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Okay. Alrighty, so here is a closer look at the label for the ice cream cotton blend. And yeah, so you've got 3.5 ounces, 225 yards, weight of four, and the other various information. Yes. Now, as I said, I am going to do a small swatchy swatchy. And let's see, can I find the center? Eh. Sort of. <laughs> it's to be expected, right? So let's see. I mean, this, this is going to happen regardless. Now, it's funny. It's like, yep, I've got a green background and my yarn is green. Um, didn't quite think about that, but it has some lovely other shades going on in here, so I am delighted. All right, so our cotton blend. Now, the cotton blend recommends a hook size of a size I, so let me grab one of those. And so it is a 5.5 millimeter hook. And so let's see what we got here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a swatch. 
So I'm going to do a slip knot and then chain up some. And then I figure maybe do some single crochets, maybe some double crochets and see how it works up. And then the true test to see can you frog it with ease? Now, for me, that is a biggie. Because if you cannot frog a yarn, if you make a mistake, then I get very, very frustrated. Or if the yarn splits. And that, too, is rather frustrating. As somebody who works with yarn every day, just about, um, so those two things are important. You know, the texture, of course, also is important. Now, this definitely has a cotton feel to it. Even though there is a lot of acrylic in it, you can feel the cotton, definitely. Some people like it, some people don't. Now, I don't know if this would be good for washcloths and that sort of thing because there is so much acrylic in it but if you are looking to make a garment that is perhaps a little bit more conducive to the warmer weather cotton from what i understand is really good for that or if you want to have something that doesn't stretch quite so much as an acrylic would Cotton, I imagine, also would be the route to go. So, I got some single crochets here, not splitting on me whatsoever, in spite of the plying of this yarn. It's not splitting. Feels nice and sturdy and robust. Let's do some doubles real quick. And me and my idiosyncrasies, I like to chain two and go into that same first stitch there. That's just me. Yeah, really not having any issue with this yarn. And if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, oh, I am sure you have seen me have issues <laughs> with various yarn before. Okay, I dropped a stitch, but that's not the yarn's fault, that's me. Um, you know, as far as my yarn splitting on me or what have you, but so far, no, that is not the case, and I am delighted to say that. And in spite of the fact that there is a lot of cotton in here, it really is not stiff like a lot of cottons Excuse me. There are a lot of cotton yarns out there where they are extremely stiff and actually are very uncomfortable to work with. Um, I don't want to name names, not in this video, but there are a lot of cotton yarns where, um, yeah, I'm sure that they're great for doing dishcloths and that sort of thing, but they are very uncomfortable to work with. But yeah, so far... This is working out really quite nicely. In spite of me dropping a few stitches, this is working out very nicely. It's got a nice slow color change to it. You know, good blend. I like it, yeah. So the 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 pace de resistance, all right, is does it frog well? Now I imagine it will because it's been pretty smooth, but let's let's take a look. Oh yeah. So far, so good. It is frogging like Kermit. Great. To me, that, that is definitely a biggie. So not splitting, able to be frogged if necessary. And, uh, you know, it's got a good flexibility to it. I like it. I do. You know, for somebody that really doesn't use much in the way of cotton, I am pleased. You know, I would say thumbs up to Lion Brand on the ice cream cotton blend. I like it, definitely. The yardage, mm, 
Okay, here's the thing. I'm of the the school of thought, bigger is better, especially when it comes to yarn and its yardage. So if they could come up with bigger uh, bigger amounts of yardage for their skeins, of course, that is me and my own, you know, uh, my own quirk, if you will. I love a lot of yardage. That's why I love the big scoops of the regular ice cream yarn, because it's got the yardage. Um, but, uh, other than that, no, I, I, I dig it. I like it. Yeah. So let's check out the dotted line yarn and give that a whirl. Alrighty. All right. So here we have the dotted line yarn. And again, I'll give you a closer look. Yep. Pink ladies, closer look, you know, so weight of two, 410 yards, 4.4 ounces, hundred percent acrylic. And yeah, it, has an interesting sort of coloration, you know, like almost like a denim, if you will. So again, let's pull from the center and cross our fingers. If I can successfully get the very, very center, this is always a thing with me. There we go. Okay. Sort of, kind of. Let's go from the center center. There we go. All right, so now for this, we are going to be using, can't really see that very well, but it's a, a size F 3.75 millimeter hook. Now, typically, I do not use a, a hook this small, okay? Very rare. When I was doing Amigurumi, uh, when I first started, I was using a size F hook with worsted weight yarn. And that's because I wanted it to be very, very tight, which that's recommended. Now, this is definitely a thin yarn. I will say that. Um, initially, with this, it felt like perhaps almost like a mercerized cotton, the way that it feels here. However, working with it like this, not really. No, it, it definitely feels softer than a typical mercerized cotton. So let's give this a whirl. And I am using the recommended hook size, but chances are that when I actually do a project with this, that I'm going to go up probably, you know, like three or four hook sizes. <laughs> I'm a bit of a rebel. Um, but I'm going to give the, the benefit of the label. So we're going to do some single crochets, I imagine, first, and then do some doubles. And so, so far, it has no issues thus far as far as splitting. It has a really good twist to it as far as the, the plies are concerned. So that is not a concern, which is always nice. Now I'm thinking also that as I go, this is going to create a bit of an ombre look to it, but I'm only doing a bit of a swatch here. Um, so yeah, it's not splitting on me, which is nice. Chain up one. And then go back in and do a bit more. And then we'll do some double crochet rows, I think. And then we will do the frog test. So, I don't know. I mean, it kind of has a cottony, a little bit of a cottony feel to it, but not in any unpleasant sort of way, um, like some other yarns, um, even though this is not cotton, it, it, I don't know, it kind of resembles cotton, but also I think that psychologically the, the color, the colorway is making me think cotton for whatever reason. I don't know why, but let's try doing some doubles. There we go. 
I am, like I said, I am so not used to using a hook this small, but it, it's actually, it's working. And I can see why they recommend this size hook for this thinness of yarn. I can see that. I mean, just usually I would say I have a particularly tight stitch on average. So that's why I tend to go up because I, I prefer for my pieces to be flowy and drapey and so forth. But yeah, so far, so far so good. Let me do one more row. And then we'll do the frog test. We'll give it a good Kermit, and uh, then I think that we will also go over the regular ice cream yarn so that you can get a better up-close look at that as well. I want to be fair to all of them. And so let's see what we got. Almost there. There we go. All right, so what do I think about the dotted line? I like it. It. I don't know. I mean, even though I, I keep saying this, even though I know it's not cotton, that this is an acrylic yarn, it makes me think of cotton, but not in an unpleasant way. Um, so that, that's rather odd for me, but it definitely makes me think of a cotton yarn. It's definitely very soft. It has a clean look to it, like mercerized cotton. It almost has the feel of it, but it isn't. It's very odd. But, you know, I, I, I like it. Yeah. And the color, it's very muted, yet it has some color in there, as you can see. You know, it, it, it's interesting. <laughs> It is. It is interesting because it's it's really making me question um, what did I have against cotton so much, even though this isn't cotton. You know, weird. All right, so let's give it the, the Kermit test. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Very smooth ripping. And for those of you that don't know, it's called frogging because you're going rip it, rip it, rip it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the frogging works like a charm. It didn't split on me and on, it did not, you know, split at all, as you can see. And even though I'm not used to using such a small gauge hook, it worked out nicely. So dotted line, you get a thumbs up as well. So two for two, rock on. Um, yeah, so between the ice cream cotton blend and the dotted line, I yep, we've got a two for two, definitely. Now I want to show you an up close and personal on the big scoops, the new colorway, butter pecan. Alrighty, so we have the ice cream big scoop. By the way, I also I really like what they did with the labeling, how they changed it up a bit, you know, a little bit um, since they're previous incarnations. I think it looks really retro and really cute, actually. I like it. Um, yeah, so this is the ice cream big scoop. Yeah, it is 10 ounces, over a thousand, over 1100, actually, yards. Um, and uh, it's a weight of three, 100% acrylic. And yes, I have a size H hook here that we're going to experiment with, a five millimeter hook, because I'm playing by the rules today. And yes, butter pecan. Right. I don't know. I mean, it almost, it's not quite navy blue in there, but that that's blue. I don't know. Or even if they had, like they called this seascape even. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I love it. Absolutely love it. And there are so many of the uh, big scoop ice cream color yarns that I really, really do love the colorways. Don't get me wrong. This one, it just almost seems like 
a misnomer. Um, but that's the only complaint that I have, you know, I mean, I know I keep harping on it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's do some chains. And typically with this yarn, I have no issues whatsoever. It is, you know, it's an acrylic yarn. It's, you know, got a great softness to it. And I really like it. I have used it countless times in my various projects. And I've done a lot of tutorials where I either use it or I've used it for the finished piece or what have you. But, you know, the yardage cannot be beat. Absolutely love it. Um, it is a, I would say it's sort of a, a, a robust weight of three. If you compare this to, I want to say, Mandala, I believe that Mandala, another Lion brand yarn, that is, I believe, a weight of three, but I would say that that's sort of like a thinner weight of three, and this would be a thicker weight of three. Personal opinion. I mean, I've been working with so many different kinds of yarns over the years, just like their pound of love, it's a four, but it's sort of a thin weight of four. Now, what would really rock my world is if the ice cream and the pound of love were in fact the same weight, and then you could use them together in the same project without any issue of the difference in weight, Oh, I would be all over, all over that. I mean, that would, that would just, that would complete me, um, most definitely because the ice cream only comes in variegated colorways and the pound of love only in solids. And I love the idea of being able to mix the two, but realistically... I probably wouldn't, but the color change is nice. It's pretty subtly, gradually changing there. Let's do some doubles. You know, by no means am I a yarn snob. Oh no, no. Um, but I know what I like. And this is definitely one that I do like, and I've used it so many times. And I would love to get my little mitts on the Cherry's Jubilee. Oh, yes, I would. Just as pretty as this. You know, the unicorn, if I'm remembering correctly, you know, is very, very cute. The Superman, it kind of reminded me of one of those Astro Pops or Rock, I think, no, Rocket Pop. Um, you know, that you would get from the ice cream man. Looks like a little rocket shape. You know, it just, the colorway totally reminded me of something like that. This, I don't know, it makes me think of, you know, like a, a seascape. You know, somebody did a, like a, a watercolor painting um, of the ocean side. You know, that, that's, that's what this makes me think of. And I just wanted ugh, a little bit more yarn. And pulling from the center, I got a little bit of tangleage going on here, but let's see what I can do. I mean, that's, that is to be expected. When you pull from the center of a skein, it will tangle, no matter what the brand. Okay, that one did snag, but the yarn is not splitting, as you can see. Okay, and there we go. So yeah, I mean, it works up really nicely and smoothly in case if you're not familiar with the ice cream yarn. And I really, really love this stuff. Now, the Kermit test, yeah, frogs beautifully as I know it will because, yep, I have worked with this yarn so many times, and I've made plenty of mistakes working with it as well, so I knew that it was going to frog, but I wanted to show you that it does do it very nicely and cleanly. Yeah.
So that, my dears, is the ice cream big scoop in the colorway of Butter Pecan and the ice cream cotton blend in chocolate. And we also have the, the dotted line in pink ladies and the dotted line in blue thunder. Oh, that's so gorgeous. And of course, I already wrapped this one up, the ice cream cotton blend in lime. Yeah. So that being said, got some good stuff. Can't wait to do some projects for you guys. Got some things that I've been working on. And yeah, so those are to come. But that is my unboxing slash review of some more of Lion Brand's yarns. Now, again, Lion Brand, thank you so very, very much for providing me with this yarn and for sponsoring the video. Thank you very much. Your support means ever so much to me. And to all of you watching right now, your support means very, very much to me as well. And I thank you for that. And if I didn't believe in Lion Brand and their yarns, you know, I wouldn't do these videos because I have used their stuff for so many years, way before I even started YouTube. Uh, I remember using uh, Pound of Love when I really, when I first started. Uh, also, Vanna's Choice I started working with, and uh, Wool Ease also when I first, first, first started. I want to say a good 20 some odd years ago, and I've been using them you know, with others, but I've been using them for a long time. And I'm so delighted that I could share all of this information with you. So thank you again, Lion Brand. Thank you all of you for watching. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really great day. And I also hope that my information is helpful to you. So with that being said, until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired. Stay caffeinated, stay, sit, stay stitching, excuse me, and stay safe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.